The Lloydminster RCMP Regimental Ball is coming back in 2023. The event will be taking place on March 4th. And I'm pleased to be joined today by the CEO of the Lloydminster Interval Home Society. Now, the reason we're talking is because the Interval Home is partnering with the RCMP to put on the event this year. So, Angela, can you tell us a little bit more about how this partnership came to be? So the, the Lloydminster Interval Home Society and the Lloydminster RCMP have had a relationship and a partnership for many, 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 many years. Whether it be, you know, having them come on site when when needed or having us train some of their members on domestic violence and some of our our um, programs that are able to support survivors. Um, anything in between, there's been a partnership between the two of us. Um, for many, many years. So we were very excited when we were chosen to be the recipients of the 2023 mm. um, proceeds from the Regimental Ball and, and given the honour to co-host with them. So that was a very, very nice surprise. Very exciting to see this partnership taking place. Now, the goal for the 2023 Regimental Ball is to raise around $50,000 to go towards the Interval Home Society. And sponsorships are going to be uh, a big way to raise some of that money. Can you take us through some of the different sponsorship opportunities that there are? Well, there's different levels of sponsorship opportunities. We have a presenting sponsor, one presenting sponsor right now. Um, in the past, there's been co-presenting sponsors, but this year, right now, we have one named already, and it's Century 21 Drive. Um, and then there's other levels as well, um, ranging from, you know, $500 up into to $5,000 and everything in between. And depending on what level um, you come in at, it depends on what kind of... Um, what you get back for that for that sponsorship, whether it be tickets to the event, um, coverage and profile on social media, printed materials, that sort of thing. So there's there's lots of different opportunity depending on on where um, a partner wants to come on board at. Now the regimental ball is a great opportunity for the public to uh, get up close and personal and see some of that uh, pomp and circumstance that comes with the RCMP. Uh, take us through some of the other stuff that's going to be taking uh, place at this uh, the event this year. Um, I know a silent auction will also be taking place. So the hit the hit of the night is really um, seeing the ceremonial aspect of the RCMP um, pomp and pageantry and and historical kind of. Um, ceremony so that will definitely be a big part of the night we have um pipe and drum band coming in from k division out of edmonton to also help with kind of bringing in that ceremonial um that ceremonial formal kind of really historical piece and um we have artifacts coming in from um different um rcmp memorabilia we have um, an, obviously a supper and a dance, but there will also be a silent auction and a live auction as well, and a live painter. Now, in your first answer, you touched on this a little bit, but how exciting is it to be able to uh, partner with the RCMP for this event? It's, this event's gone on before COVID for a number of years, and this is the first time that the, the Interval Home will be uh, receiving the proceeds. No, we're very excited. Um, like I said before, we we partner quite regularly on our day to day operations and our day to day work. But this is this is different, and it's it's special in that we we get to be part of what makes the RCMP special, which is part of. I mean, besides helping our communities to stay safe, there's a real the real ceremonial piece of of what will happen on that night, and that's exciting to be a part of. But also just be it, it's exciting and and an honor to be partnered with them at this level. Now, if there's people out there that are interested in uh, some of these sponsorship opportunities or just want to find out more information about the event, where can they uh, go to find that information? Yeah, so if anybody's interested in finding out more about the Reg Ball itself or about how to come online and support the support the event, they can definitely call the office here and ask for Maxine. All right, well, thank you so much, Angela, for uh, taking some time to talk with us. It was a pleasure and uh, very excited to see this event uh, coming back to Lloydminster.